Hello my dear friends welcome to my youtube channel today we will talk about new query that is related to the soi silicon on insulator in this video i will explain you what is soi and i will also explain partially depleted and fully depleted soi structure let's start what is soi soi is silicon on insulator it is different from the bulk mosfet silicon on insulator technology refers to the use of a layered silicon insulator silicon substrate in place of conventional silicon substrate in the semiconductor manufacturing to reduce parasitic device capacitance thereby improving performance the transistor structure then resides on the thin silicon film it is compatible with conventional silicon technology earlier we are using the bulk mosfet in which we are taken the silicon material substrate but in case of soi there is a silicon insulator silicon substrate insulator is in between of two silicon substrate material by using this insulator between two silicon material it will improve the device performance and reduce the parasitic capacitance present in the device it is compatible with the conventional silicon technology based upon the thickness of silicon film and doping concentration it is further categorized as partially depleted or fully depleted soi mosfet in the next slide we will talk about the pd partially depleted or fully depleted soi mosfet soi mosfets offer several advantages as compared to bulk mosfet such as excellent lateral and vertical isolation improved latch up free operation reduced leakage current reduced short channel effects and improved switching speeds due to the reduction in drain body capacitance there are number of advantages of soi over bulk mosfet first we will talk about the partially depleted soi mosfet soi mosfet are divided into two types pd partially depleted or and fully depleted devices in case of partially depleted soi mosfet the silicon body is thick enough so that the gate depletion region does not extend to the entire silicon body thickness to the buried oxide simply in uh, partially depleted mosfet this depletion region does not extend to the buried oxide there is some portion is left between them partially depleted soi devices have silicon thickness greater than 0.15 micrometer the depletion region extend into the body of the device under the gate at the source body and drain body junction and does not deplete all the charges in the body resulting in the name of partially depleted mosfet there is some portion is left which is not depleted that's why it is called as partially depleted mosfet the increase in body charges give rise to the body potential that result in kink in the output characteristics well known as the kink effect due to this portion some body charge give rise to the body potential that result in the kink effect what is kink effect in partially depleted mosfet the kink effect is observed in partially depleted soi mosfet device in these devices the electric field near the drain region will be high enough due to the re relatively higher drain voltage simply uh, the electric field is high at the drain end due to the higher drain voltage consequently the channel electron in the high electric field acquire high energy and create electron hole pair by impact ionization mechanism the generated electron are collected by the drain and the hole accumulate in the floating body the channel charge carrier due to high electric field acquire high energy and it will create electron hole pair by impact ionization mechanism due to the positive uh, voltage at the drain terminal the electron generated are collected by the drain and the holes accumulate in the floating body the accumulation of the holes in the floating body leads to increase in the body potential and the associated drop in the threshold voltage 
leads to a sharp increase in the drain current. The increase in drain current further leads to an increase in the number of holes generated. This commutative process will continue until the body source junction is powerized, allowing the holes to exit the device. Due to the high electric field in the channel, the electron hole pair generation will continue until the source junction is powerized and it will allow the holes to exit from the source end. Consequently, the device will not suitable for the linear application due to the non linearity created by the kink effect. SOI device uh, partially depleted SOI device is not suitable for the linear application device. It will be suitable for the non linear application of device. Last we will talk about the fully depleted SOI MOSFET. Fully depleted SOI MOSFET is different from the partially depleted SOI MOSFET. In case of fully depleted SOI MOSFET, the silicon film beneath the gate is depleted through the box. One of the most attractive feature of the fully depleted SI MOSFET is it reduced body effect coefficient. It does not have floating body. The depletion reason is continue up to the bioroxide. No reason left which is not depleted. The reduction in the body effect coefficient helps to increase the drive current, transconductance and improve subthreshold slope to near ideal value approximate 60 millivolt per decade. Fabrication of fully depleted SOI devices involves development of ultra thin body and therefore needs more sophisticated technology. The threshold voltage in the partially depleted SOI device is relatively less sensitive to the uniformity in the silicon film thickness. In the fully depleted SOI device, the threshold voltage depends on the silicon film thickness. It is difficult to control the thickness of ultra thin body in fully depleted SI MOSFET and as a result the film thickness become non uniform across the wafer. For this reason there has been a growing interest in the partially depleted SI MOSFET. In case of fully depleted SI MOSFET the substrate prison is ultra thin as compared to partially depleted SI MOSFET. The threshold voltage of that fully depleted SI MOSFET is depend upon the thickness of the silicon film. It's very difficult to manage the ultra thin body in the fully depleted SOI MOSFET due to the non uniform thickness of the silicon substrate. For this reason, we preferred partially depleted MOSFET over fully depleted MOSFET. Uh, this is end for today. Please like, subscribe, and share my channel. Thanks for watching.